hi guys welcome back i hope you are having a great day or had a great day so today's diy is of this necklace it was inspired again by a picture that i saw on pinterest So before we get into the video guys, these are all my social media pages and if you don't already follow me, please follow me so that we can connect outside of YouTube. So these are all my ropes and those are the lengths of the ropes and then I cut strips of fabric. They were about all like one inch wide. And then I basically started folding them in half and ironing them. This is to make sure that all the row edges go on one side. So there are all my strips all ironed, all 14 of them. And then so I did burn my rope on the edges a little bit to prevent it from fraying too much. And I just did this using a candle. And I'm sorry that you cannot see it clearly there, but that was a candle that I was using. You can always use a lighter as well. So now I took some glue and those fabric strips and I just basically started dropping around those ropes. Putting glue like regularly and just wrapping and dropping until I get almost to the end but I was not like getting too close to the end. Then I would leave like a little piece or a small piece of the fabric strip just hanging. So at this point I did not close them, then I just left them like that. So at that point I finished wrapping all of them up. So now I'm going to show you how I close them and make like a chain link like this one that you see right here. So I basically take that rope and I put it through the next one. And then using a needle and thread, I now sew the ropes together. So I sew them just like that and I try to sew like several times to make sure that it does not come off.
and then I put some glue and using that piece of extra fabric that I left then I just wrap it around to finish the circle off and then I glue it back together and at this point because E6000 glue takes time to dry I put like a pig just to hold it while I work on the other circles but if you're using hot glue like you only need to use the pig because hot glue dries really really fast Okay, so those are my two chains. Now it's like a chain. And then now the next step was to combine the two and to add a fastening. So I'm using the one with the small circles as the first layer. Then the one with the big circles as the second layer. Then this is my satin ribbon. And I basically just cut and I also made sure to cut like to cut it slanted so that the ribbon does not like run or fray and then I just fixed the edges with a lighter like that and then I sewed the ribbons onto the rings or loops And I sewed this using a needle and some black thread. And then I also did the same for the other side. And um, that was all you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be able to see it and i will see you in the next video guys so thank you so much for watching and bye